and welcome back to Agrarian Skies! Hi! I am here and things are changing over here. We've got a little bit of an orchard going. Hopefully they are spaced far enough apart that they will start growing. But we've got lime saplings and papaya and apple and avocado and pear and cherry and pomegranate, coconut and dragon fruit. And I got a light out here because I started building this and forgot to put lighting out here. And I had a couple skeletons and a creeper spawn. It wasn't happy days. It was very sad because uh, the creeper almost came along and decided to blow up my house. Yeah. So that wasn't fun. Got a nice little thing here and got the path going to the orchard which is going to slowly expand. Got my safety wall most of the way around. And so far this episode I have been working a little bit of lag on making some lava because our lava generator keeps running out of lava because I have a whole bunch of machines hooked up to it now. It is running all of our bee machines as well as the harvester, the planter, and the sledge boiler is hooked up way over here. So that's good. Um, we are trying to make some more stuff over here, but I'm out of wood or burnables in there, so I've been making some charcoal. I... Nope, we're also started getting some birch, and we should get some spruce next time. Hmm, it's like it still wants to burn, but there's nothing in there to burn. It's kind of stuck. Well, we'll just uh, leave that in there. So we're getting nice lots of charcoal. Put that in there, and we'll throw the rest of this in here. What else has been going on in between episodes? See, I put a torch inside the mob spawner and took out a block, so that'll stop that from spawning, because we've got enough mob drops for now. And I think that's a bit it, about it. I figured out how to get the water, or how to get the seed oil out of the carpenter. That was one of my questions from the last episode. And also how to move the machines, which I'm planning on moving probably not today, but in a future episode I'm going to move them so that the bee machines have their own area somewhere over here probably or over there, I'm not quite sure yet. And I put down this furnace, um, this generator, sorry. Um, hopefully that didn't change. And I was going to put hook up the auto packager and get that automated, but it wasn't really working out for me. So I don't know why. Maybe I'm using the wrong. Actually, I made some. What did I make? Made some item ducts, and they wouldn't connect. So I have to research. Maybe I need to make something else. I've looked at transfer nodes and transfer pipes and there's no recipe to tell me how to make those so there must be some other thing I can make and if you guys know what it is please let me know because I am at a loss I don't know how to get things from one place to another I mean the fluid ducts are working fine but the item duct didn't want to seem to connect to the chest or to the auto packager so I'm not sure how to do that but we're going to take a look in here and see what we were working on. Yes, the bee elizer and the tree elizer and some honey drops. So I think we were figuring that out. We come over here, bee elizer, so we needed tin, two glass panes, diamonds, and two redstone. And put that in the carpenter with some water. So we need a bucket of water, which is easy enough to get if I find my bucket. Um, we'll steal a bucket of water from there and put it in the carpenter. So now we should look in there. We've got some water and then we got to get the other items. And I picked up an apple from my trees and let's see how the trees are doing. So the spruce is or the spruce isn't growing yet. 
but we've got more apples and saplings. So I've just been grabbing the saplings and putting them back in so they can get replanted because I haven't figured out any pipes for getting them to go back in. And we've got another birch sapling in there and I'm leaving a space there to put the oak in or whatever, birch. Uh, this thing, spruce. I'll think of the name eventually. The spruce sapling in. Oop! One of our fruit trees grew. Yay! So they hopefully have enough room to grow. That is super happy. Okay. Super happy time. So I was coming out here because we need to mm, get more redstone. Because I used up the redstone I had making more energy, leadstone, energy pipes. And so we are out of redstone at the moment. And I am not being able to... There we go. That's what I want to do. That shift, spacebar, right click. And that takes everything in that inventory and puts it into yours. And then we can throw those in there. Gunpowder can actually come back with us. Bone meal, blaze, limestone can stay with us. Certus quartz, certus quartz dust, pulverized lead. This is why I want to get all this automated. We've got a lot of Certus Quartz dust, don't know what to do with it. And then we've got all these guys here, which reminds me we were smelting up some copper. And how much have we got left now? Five ingots. Did we have more in here? Iron nickel. Nope, I think that's all, so we'll have to do that one at a time. That's all right. So what was I doing? Oh, I was just going to put the extra stuff away. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? I know it's a slow learning process on some of this stuff, guys, but bear with me. We're getting there. Nice. All right. So I'm getting hungry. We need some food. I forgot to put the bone meal away. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some dust, throw that in there, grab the dust, put the dust in the sifter, grab the dirt, making lots and lots of dirt, so we're going to expand the pasture even more, we're going to subdivide it so that all the animals have a space of their own. So far we've got 64 plus 4 dirt, there we go, organize that, haven't figured out what to do with the birch yet. We're working on it, slowly. <coughs> Everything is coming together. And get poor. Okay, lava. Eh, lava, 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 lava. Okay, so I keep having a reserve here, and then we can just grab a thousand mill buckets, one bucket full, run it over here and throw it in the furnace that keeps our machines running. Swap. Lava. So I'm trying to get up a, a reserve of lava, but unfortunately this doesn't last very long. It does produce a lot of power though. Um, and I don't have anything automated for making lava yet, so yeah. So we've got more than enough copper. I think we have a copper chest out here for our overflow. We do. So we'll just throw that in there. So anytime we get more than 64 in the chest in the house, we just throw them out here. And that's how we do that. Oh yes, I came in because I was hungry. I need foods. So I've got a couple apples on me. Let's grab... Oh, let's grab some soup and a fruit salad. 
and I'm probably super hungry, so we'll grab a couple plums, and hopefully that should fill me up. Let's see. Soup. And fruit salad. Wow. Plums. We're getting there. Not quite. And some carrot juice. Alright, so that should keep us good for a while. Any redstone? Nice. So that's one redstone. And I forget how many we needed. Two. Okay, so we need a second redstone. See if we can get some more dust. More dust. More sand. Sand to make into dust. Dust into redstone. Hopefully. And that is empty, so we'll melt down the next thing. We'll do gold. Boom. Ba -da -dum -boom. So these guys are fairly new and they're still growing. I don't know if they're going to have enough room to grow, but we'll see. We could probably actually take down this wall. But I'm going to do that when we're not doing our thing. I was going to do something else. Oh yes, last episode we planted tomatoes. And these are all nice and grown. So now we can combine them with our pasta and make spaghetti. Mm-mm. Nine tomatoes. Alright, so we needed to make some spaghetti. What? Maybe it's just pasta? Okay, so pasta, yeah. Here we go. Spaghetti. Oh. Alright, so we need some spice leaves in our pastas. So we made some pasta. We only have one, but we can make some more. Um, spice leaf. Oh, we only have one left. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can get some more. And what else did we need? Our tomatoes and our saucepan, I think. There we go. So we can just do it in our inventory. Ta-da! 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 Spaghetti! That is one filling meal. Okay, we can open our quest book. Go back to Hell's Kitchen. Spaghetti! Claim reward. Yay! And we also have tomatoes. Claim reward. Whoops. Claim reward. Yay! So let's see what that is unlocked. So now we need hearty we need our brunch, which is the hearty breakfast. And that required, that's the wrong one. That one requires potato cakes, which require onions. And we need to get some lettuce. So we need to do those. And then I'm guessing these are going to be like creating mass quantities of those. Yeah, we need to unlock something somewhere else. Not sure what that is. Probably the ME system. So, where are we here? We need to do these guys and make the upgrades, tin upgrade for those. So that's that. Going back to b b b bees. <coughs> Sleep. So hopefully we'll be able to get this all up and running and I'll probably start making an automated system next time. 16, nice. So we'll do one of those and some of those. Still haven't figured out how to make the steelworks thing. Don't know why it's not working, but we'll figure it out eventually. More apples. Nice. Haven't figured out how to make the sledge boiler. 
I mean, it's working, but I don't know what to do with it, so more research. Yay. Just what I always wanted to do. Research all kinds of stuffs. Gold. Gold. And there's gold. Okay, we need run over here and grab more lava. Switch that over into the tank. Put in more cobble. La, 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 la. This has still got plenty, so we'll just keep going. Alright, so I need to do this. I forgot to set a timer again, so we'll probably end it in a minute because I feel like I've been rambling and running around a lot today. Yeah, one of those kind of days. A little bit of lag. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, that was a big spike of lag. So we got our two quarter hearts. Better put those away. Do, 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 do. We've got tons of hearts now. So no big deal. We've got extra chest. Could probably do something with that. And put our tomatoes away. Put the gold away. And our saucepan away. And I'll probably make more pasta. Let's see what else was I going to try and do. Got more dirt. Um. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that. So I can't think what else I wanted to do. We do need to go do these, and probably ought to look at. starting some of this stuff because maybe this will help me with storage we can do this our glacial precipitator we need one ice okay so we have our glacial precipitator somewhere this one and don't remember if it needed any power we're gonna kind of gonna kind of put it here for now, I guess. I think. Well, we're, you know, here. Alright, so we needed to put water in it. Grab our bucket. Did we get any? No. Okay. This is so frustrating. Okay, bucket of water. Nope, not enough in there. Alright, we got plenty of dust. We've run out of power in there. Let's just uh, throw a couple of those. Grab some more gold. Alright, so we'll figure that. We'll get that set up for next time. I'm going to keep working on getting this dust to give us more redstone. Because we need it to make our bealizers and treealizers. But things are moving along swiftly now with the help of the automated machines up there. Hopefully I'll get more things automated. If you guys have any suggestions or tips on setting up the automation, please let me know. Leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Dragon Feathers. This is Agrarian Skies. And you're pretty darn awesome for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe. Bye!